Namaste. Today is a beautiful spring day. I am so happy to get back outside and film outside. It's such a different environment and power. And you know, I want to share with you today about the forces of nature and when we understand deeply how they are in conjunction with our nature, with our elements, and when we are able to transcend the elements to another way of perception, we can take a full advantage of the seasons and the cycles of life. And today, in my experience actually today, um, when I was in my meditation, I felt that incredible amount of force, uh, energy, that is destabilizing in a way, because it is so pungent, it's so unapologetic, that it just wants to live, it just wants to pierce every single stagnation within you to make something different or to relocate things. So I understood that it's important to see purification from different points of view. The number one is the physical uh, purification. And all of you are very familiar with that. You know, drink water, warm water with lemon in the morning, do your seasonal purgations and massage and so on and so forth. But in here I want to address how we can use the meditation uh, to go a little bit deeper into the understanding of purification. First of all, purification at this level is not to let go of something. It's actually to see something that has been in dormancy that is ready to spring, that is ready to show. And for that, you need to be relaxed. So if you have a definition of yourself, I'm not loved, if it's some limiting belief system in the heart, I'm not loved, or I don't deserve life, or I cannot do it, or this is too much for me, is that is a limiting belief system in the section of the life force, in the alchemy force, or the limiting forces that is saying, I don't know, I cannot do it because I don't know, I need to learn something every day, something different and make effort and be a perfectionist. Otherwise, I won't act, I won't love, I won't come forward. So these limiting belief systems are really what taking the life force of life, love and wisdom, taking the life force and making it you own, making it in, in a way for you to keep limited and not to take responsibility. So when we are purifying, what we are purifying is all what we have entrenched our will in the natural force. And it's in that that we are surrendering. It's the I that need to surrender. It's not to let go of anything. It's just simply to see that it's futile, that that is an illusion to have the idea that you can control everything or that you have to be perfect in everything or that you have to carry the world in your shoulders because God cannot do it, right? So, it's, it's, when we look at from this perspective, and it's actually the path of effortlessness. It's not to get rid of anything that is already in your system. It's to reshape things that are already in your system and that are in a place of ignorance. That they are in a place of infantile perception. So 
what to do with that? Number one, of course, is to see, ah, I am being selfish, I am being, um, I'm having a tantrum, it's all about me, I'm not taking responsibility, meaning I am not the creator. So the first step is to enhance your alchemy, which is simply I am the creator. And you don't know the power of this because you can be really free from a larger matrix of humanity that doesn't want to take responsibility, that wants to continue to belong to somebody else taking care of you financially or emotionally or mentally. You just let that go. You just let that go. You just let that go and see that I am the creator and that my creation from the day one I born is perfect and is in a cycle of movement, ascending cycle towards a higher expansion. It never is backwards. It can be stagnant if you don't take responsibility, but if you take responsibility, there is no doubt that everything is going to go up. Up in the sense of bigger, larger, expandable, breathable, a larger out breath. That's part of the purification. The other part of the purification, which is it goes hand to hand to, I am not uh, uh, releasing anything. I'm actually acquiring something that I don't know. I am acquiring something that is a new environment. Like let's say if the sprouting of the, of the tulips are coming out, that pungent force that you can do nothing about it it's gonna hit you sooner or later and it's gonna destabilize it's gonna it's gonna say to you do this clean that move to this part get a new mate uh, and whatever chakra it hits it's always pushing you like a big waterfall that you can do nothing about it so when you have the clarity ah what is it that I am acquiring? What is it that I am acquiring? Meaning, what is it within me that is putting my attention on it and that will sprout? Listen to that. When I put my attention softly, calmly, relaxed, not because with no intention, no, I'm going to put my attention into prosperity so I can be prosper. No, it doesn't work that way. It's when you are ready to acquire something that you can be responsible about, that it match your other themes that you're working on it. So this is very important in, in the purification because in this approach, you just need to relax. You just need to let go. Because the first force is, it hits your pingala. It's the nadi of action. I want to clean, I want to move, I want to do something. And it can be so overwhelming and you get so exhausted. You have a big agenda what to do in the spring, right? <laughs> we all do. But if you don't pace yourself, if you don't are clear in what is it really that you are focusing on it, it can really go against you. And with no relaxation, you are just, yeah, purifying your bowels and so on. But deep down, it has not been revealed, that little satori that say, oh, you're carrying life on your shoulders more than you need, for example, or oh, you are believing in this that you're not loved or that you need to do certain things right in that revelation when you see it you purify it 
When you see it, you're ready to understand it deeply because it's not you talking to your what idea of what purification is. It's the life talking to you what you are ready to hear, what are you ready to expand in the spring. And this is particular truth in, in the springtime. In the fall is another process, but in here is such a pungent force that is beyond you and it lasts just a little bit. So think, what chakra is it that you want that force to hit you, to be bath? Where is it in your body that you would like that force to purify you? You don't purify, the force purified you. That is the function of life in the same way that you go to the bathroom every day, right? So that idea that, oh, in this spring I'm going to laugh more or I am working and being more vulnerable and more sensitive, that is all crap. That is all expectations or ideas that you have put in yourself to be more perfect, to be more lovable, to be more um, in the path, the spiritual path. That has nothing to do with surrender or purification. That is your construction and that it should not be part of the true seeker purification. Another aspect of the purification of the seeker, it, ha it has to do with containment. And in here, yes, in the spring you want to go out, you want to be in the sun, you want to breathe the new air and so on and so forth, but for the period of purification that you're choosing, 24 hours, 3 hours, three days, seven days, 14 days, whatever length you need concentration, you need containment, you need that intensity of direction of your intention. That's what is going to do it. No, it's not just randomly waiting for life to happen to you. You have your part, you need to help and it's not going to feel comfortable. There are some passages and that's what a sign that your purification is being successful. When you feel the ouch, when you feel the, the, the let go, when you feel the need that, okay, I need to see myself or see my life from a different perspective. Isn't there when you go out of your purification and you truly understand something so intimate, so pure, so personal about you, that purification had happened. Purification comes with a seed of wisdom, with a seed of love and with a seed of life. Happy purification and Let's, let's just simply reflect on the three aspects I have mentioned on the purification of the seeker so you can navigate this spring smoothly and more consciously without that idea of letting go of something. Huh? Namaste.